Chad Dukes here for the world-renowned TheFookerton.com and WJFK 106.7 here in Washington, D.C. Very excited. This is a big week if you're a gamer. Gears of War 2 was the most uh, pre-ordered video game of all time. And, of course, the main character in Gears of War 1 and 2 is Marcus Phoenix. We're joined right now by the man that voices Marcus Phoenix. John DiMaggio joins us on the show. John, what's going on, man? Uh, just chilling. It's been a very, very busy week for me. Uh, Gears of War 2 coming out. And uh, also, uh, you know, I do the voice of Bender for Futurama. Yeah. So. We had it. We had another. Uh, we we had another DVD come out this past week. So that's. It's been pretty busy, man. It's been pretty nuts on this side of the coast. So I, I wanted to ask you about that because you got a group of fans and game and oh. gaming fans that are nerdy, super into the product, and then you got Futurama fans where it's almost like a cult where you got these guys that are so it's, into it's the a, show. I, I can only <laughs> put it to you this way: it's like a double nerd boner. It's huge. <laughs> It's a double-ended bon nerd boner. I, I swear to God, dude, it's so funny. We we had the we had the big thing last night uh, at the Universal City Walk here in Los Angeles. Yeah, and uh, I mean there were people that had come from Detroit, Vancouver, like Kentucky, like from all over the place. It was ridiculous. I couldn't believe the amount of people. There was like a, there was like a thousand. It had to be a thousand plus. It was nuts. Yeah. For a game release. Yeah. And it was at a GameStop. It was like it, it, it was like <laughs> game. It, like people showed up. I was like I couldn't believe it. We did a, we did a release party at our radio station just for people to pre-order and hang out. And they they said they had so many people show up for the game that the cops were rolling by. It was pandemonium. It's just weird. You've been in the business a while. Isn't it strange how much it seems that video games are almost not taking the place, but equaling the fervor that's built over one of these big releases that, that a big time yeah. movie is? Yeah, I'd, I'd have to agree with you. It, it's, I mean, after especially after seeing last night, I mean, it's it's just shocking. I couldn't, I, I couldn't fathom it. But now, but you know what though, I got to tell you, man, fans of like fans of animation and fans of video games, and fa like they, they are so rabid and so passionate about like what they love i mean it, it you know you look at comic-con for crying out loud yeah. have you ever been to a comic-con oh yeah we go to the baltimore comic-con every year all right well there's there's the the big one in san diego yeah. is is ridiculous <laughs> i mean it's been getting bigger and bigger and bigger there was 150,000 people there last year i mean every year we we you know we have a futurama panel and it's you know it's packed it's packed to the to the gills that it's it, it's shocking. People recognize me from from my voice, but they see me. They see my they see my face. Like I'm not even on like stuff a lot. Like you know, I get like on camera gigs here and there. You know, it's cool. But people see my face and they go, "Hey, you're John D. Hey, you're Bender. Hey, you're Marcus <laughs> Phoenix." I'm like, "Dude, you haven't even seen my face. How the hell did you know this?" Like, <laughs> the fans are absolutely rabid, dude. They're in, it, it's it's crazy, Chad. I'm telling you, I. I'm just blown away. I'm very happy about it, and it's and it's certainly gratifying. But it's just it's heavy duty, man. These people are rabid fans. That's what I wanted to ask you. What is it like, though? Because you know, you get a guy that does a video game, whatever. You have your passionate fans. You got two fan bases now. You got a monster hit animated show that now, whenever you guys release a DVD, it sells great. Like I, Bender's game yeah. w w did amazing. Yeah, it's a license to print money. That show. <laughs> that's 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 the beauty of Futurama. It's like. Patrick Verone said that. He's one of our head writers. Yeah. He's also, like, president of the Writers Guild. So go figure, right? Yeah, exactly. I mean, he's, just, he's just like, look, this is a license to print money, this show. It's <laughs> ridiculous. And that, yeah, I mean, forget it. It's, it's just mad. I was, I was at a concert. I was at a concert recently. Yeah. And I was walking in the Staples Center. And somebody looks at me and goes, Hey man, I know I know you. And I'm like, dude, that's a little suspect, bro. I don't know what that means, you know. <laughs> and he's like, No, Marcus Phoenix. I was like, Holy, are you out of your mind? Like, I couldn't believe. I was like, Oh man, this is it's just crazy. And it's funny too, because like, I like doing voiceover because like the anonymity. You don't have to deal with any, you know, you don't have to deal with any BS. Yeah, you, know, you would you think. Show up, you, you show up in a pair of sweats. You do your job. You split. You know, you go home. You. You take the sweats off and sit on the couch. Everything's cool. You know what I mean? Like, it's all right. Yeah, exactly. You know, watch a couple games. Everything is cool.
Dude, dude. By the way, your Redskins are looking real nice. Yeah, they were except for uh, except, Monday well, night. Yeah, except, yeah, but that's all right because they had to follow the Redskins rule anyway. Sorry about that. That's, you know, the Redskins rule. Well, are you talking about with the election? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> of, of course. <laughs> I, we have to hear about that. In D.C., like, the nation thinks that they just eat that stuff off. That stat just drives us insane. Uh, I know, here. especially when, the, when, when, when you guys are looking so good and, and Jason Campbell's having such a phenomenal year. Well, it's just it's frustrating because every time you think they go, they have wins over Dallas, in Dallas, over Philadelphia and Philly, and then you lose to the Rams, and then you get punched in the mouth by the Steelers. It's yeah. just, you don't <laughs> know what to think. you got to no, but you got to admit, the Steelers – they got the big time punch in the mouth defense, man. They don't mess around. No, they, not at they, all. They they look so that game against Baltimore this year. This it was it was Pittsburgh Baltimore. I think that was the toughest game I had seen all year. Yeah. Those guys were smacking each other in the mouth every play, and it was shock. I'm a Jets fan, so I'm down with the Redskins. You guys got. You guys got enough Jets on your team for crying out loud. Well, dude, every time that every Kendall, you got Santana Moss, yeah. and of course John Riggins. The, you know. Six pack and you know Sandra Day O'Connor. You gotta love that. <laughs> every two or three, every two or three years, the Redskins and the Jets get together and just swap a bunch of players. Yeah, I know, and yeah, and we usually end up on the on the crappy end of the deal. <laughs> like, oh, we took God. we took Chad Morton and John Hall off your hands. That didn't work out too well. Oh, you. that's that is true. That <laughs> is Chad Morton. You can have. Yeah, Chad we can have Morton. that guy. Oh. Uh, John, what's it like when you get the script for this game, man? You get all these nerds and all these. The internet is so prevalent now. You know this. Where anyone's looking for a leak, anyone's looking to try to get a snippet of the plot or what happens in it. And the first one was so big, and this one is so much bigger than even the first. How did they give you the whole? script that nah, you know what was nah, going to happen? Know what? You know what's even messed up? What's that? Well, I, all right, in the game, you know Brumox, right? Of course. All right, so I was all excited about it. I'm like, man, the first, it, like, I was doing an interview for, for Futurama, yeah. and I started talking about Gears of War 2, and I wasn't supposed to. <laughs> and I was like, man, you get to fight the Brumox now, because I love playing the game. Of course. I mean, I'm ridiculous. I'm sitting on my couch, no pants on, listening to myself talk to myself. <laughs> Yeah, you know, but what the hell is that, you know? But, but, oh, I'm sitting there, yeah, you know, so, so, so I'm like, yeah, man, you get to fight the boom ox, it's going to be incredible. Within, like, 45 minutes of that interview, I get a phone call, like, dude, did you talk about Gears of War 2 and the boom ox, man? You weren't supposed to talk about what, it. What, did Microsoft give you a call, or what was it? Uh, I kind of got a phone call from my agent, oh, who was okay. just like, uh, <laughs> you did something, and boy, there's a bunch of people calling me freaking out. <laughs> He was like, well, sorry about that. You're going to get to fight the broom ox. Too bad. That now is, you know. It's so funny that that's the one thing that you let go because, I mean, I'm sure you're aware of this. When the, the guys that bought the game on the Xbox figured out the guys they were getting the game on the PC got to fight broom ox, they, they freaked out and said, why the hell can't we do this? So that was like the one piece yeah. of information everybody was freaking out about. Yeah, I know. It's 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 silly. It's, it's just, it's silly. I just love it, though, because, like, Everybody at Epic has been really cool. Yeah. Everybody at, at Microsoft has been really cool, and it's funny too because I got to play. I played Steve Ballmer. Really. In that in the in the uh, Pirates of Silicon Valley. Yeah, movie. man. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I played Steve Ballmer, and none of these guys even realized they didn't put the two and two together. So I'm meeting with all these Microsoft guys. We're, <laughs> taking, we're getting pictures taken with each other, and I'm like, Yeah, I'm, I'm the guy that did, you know. <laughs> That did your boss, you know, in a, in a, in a made-for-TV movie. And they're looking at me like, oh, my God, you are the guy. Like, like, yeah. And so, yeah, so I'm taking pictures and just telling everybody, like, you know, I'm doing I'm doing the shaky dance, you know, freaking out, doing the, the bomber scream, you know. And they're just laughing. They're like, we can't wait to tell the boss man when we get back to Seattle. I'm like, well, we rocked that out. Yeah, thanks a lot. Yeah. Hey, uh, dude, let me ask you. We had this guy, Michael Holicon, who was the voice of Nico Bellic. Who in uh, GTA Four? Right, right, sure. Love and that game. He is Love that game. Great game, and the guy does a bunch of voice work. He's not nearly as prolific as you are, John. But he was saying how he, he sees this game that's made five hundred million, six hundred million dollars, and 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 Gears of War is just as successful a franchise. It's just a little bit younger in its uh, stages of development. W what is it like being involved in the industry when you see these games now that are making money like summer blockbusters make? What's it like on the business side of that? Are you guys getting more and more involved with, hey, do we see residuals? What's going on here? I don't want to know all your personal well, business. Well, no, no, no. Well, that's something that's, that's, that's something that's happening that's changing. Really? Now, I mean, it's, it's, cha it's changing slightly. You know, it's, 
It's difficult, but besides, you know, it's like, listen, I get compensated for my work. I'm not going to sit around, you know, and go, oh, they, they did that much and whatever. It's, it's all right, you know. Yeah. But, but yeah, it's it's moving forward. We have to, you know, it's it's part of uh, it's part of one of the parts of the reasons why SAG wants to go on strike. Yeah, exactly. You know, so it's it's. It's kind of a touchy subject, but you know, hey, it's everybody's got to be taken care of, and there's a lot of you know. And listen, Ed, believe me, it, at Epic Games, there's a lot of Lamborghinis and, uh, and Lotuses and uh, fancy cars yeah, parked in the dry, you know in the, the driveway. And, and don't get me wrong; those people work work their tail off, and you know, and they, they you know they, they they deserve it, 100. percent But you know. We'll get ours. It's cool. But you also don't want the Flintstone syndrome where all of a sudden Fred Flintstone's got a different voice. I mean, if you come back and, yeah. Mar and Marcus Phoenix, and you, you hear, what are these guys made of shit yeah, whenever yeah, he steps yeah, on yeah, somebody's yeah. head? Nobody yeah. wants that. Nobody wants it. So, it's yeah, it's, it's up in the air, but it's all right.